Hey everybody, Dave Carger here at the IMDb studio in Toronto. I am joined by pretty much the entire cast of Dolomite Is My Name. I'm going to introduce you all. Wesley Snipes, Keegan-Michael Key, Divine Joy Randolph, Craig Robinson, Mike Epps, Titus Burgess. Great to see all of you. Thanks so much for being here. <laughs> kind of feel like a kindergarten teacher right now, but I'm going to try to make this work. Okay, raise your hand if you had seen Dolomite before you made this movie. Wow. Raise your, okay. Raise your hand if you've seen it now. There you go. So now you've all seen it. Okay, so for... I did, I did, I did. You did, you did, you did. Right. Is it something you guys... Right. You did, you raised your hand both times. That was the plan. Was it something that you couldn't believe that they were kind of making a movie about the making of this movie when you first heard about it? What was your first reaction? Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I was well, I was thrilled. I was thrilled because it was a, the movie was a big part of of my youth, uh, my, my youth, my college years is when I watched with my friends. But it, I, I had no idea that this was something that somebody would make would 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 have this idea. But it was something that was like kind of deep inside of me, like, well, no one's gonna make a movie about Rudy Ray Moore. <laughs> and then here we are. So it was it, it was it was actually very exhilarating for so me. So divine for you. I just wanted to be in a movie with Eddie Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's gonna happen again, but we'll get to that. Uh oh. I'm going to be in a movie with Eddie Murphy? I think so. <laughs> Wes, you will be in two movies uh, with Eddie Murphy. Oh, my God. <laughs> OMG. Oh, my God. Uh, so, oh, my God. OK, so Divine, <laughs> since you were the person who had not seen it, what went through your mind when you were given a copy and got to watch it? I was very excited. As a woman, very, very excited. And then I immediately started working out, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> in case what? You know, it's black exploitation, so girls show stuff. All right, they do. I've seen coffee. Yeah, yeah coffee. <laughs> okay, so I want you all to go around and finish this sentence for me mm. with, with one word. Compared to what I expected, Eddie Murphy was way more... Dramatic. Mm. Chill. Quiet. Craig? Same. Use the mic. The same. He was the same. Okay. Yeah. Mike? He was more hood than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Titus? Uh, generous. I like that. Which one is. Titus wins. Titus wins. <laughs> Which, well, he is amazing in this movie. I mean, he's done so many great things over the years yeah. between Mr. Church and Dream Girls and all the stand up stuff. But this is, I don't know, I feel like I'm seeing a different side of him in this. And it's cool to see him playing a real person which I don't think he's ever done before. So. Yeah. Um, which one of you guys was the biggest Eddie super fan going into this? Craig. 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 And, it was Craig. Okay. Craig. <laughs> so Craig, did you make that known on the set? Subtly, in subtle ways. <laughs> What'd you do? You know, we, we, but I, we all are super fans, but we would just kind of talk about, you know, things from his past, like Saturday Night Live or whatever. And, and then I would, you know, just, Repeat his stuff verbatim. <laughs> <laughs> How many times a day was Eddie calling for extra security when you were around? <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't. That's what, he was chill. I like he was that. chill. And I, I like to change my answer from the same earlier to accessible. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. I like that. Keegan, I was taking special note of the scene where you guys, he's like showing off some karate moves, and I thought to myself, how was Keegan able to do this and not break? Obviously, you're a professional, but did it ever happen that you just had to well, do it again? Well, the answer to your question is editing. <laughs> so, so I look as serious as the day is long. Um, he, it, it, it is, uh, it was very difficult, and it, but not only be, it's not just the intrinsic comedic presence that he offers you. It's also there's a playfulness. That start that this infectious yeah. playfulness that starts to exist in the room. Yeah. And Eddie would do amazing things. You, you'd be you'd be on set and you're just I'm having a conversation with Divine. All of a sudden you just hear like really beautiful picking on a guitar, mm -hmm. and you turn around and his brother's just walking through the side. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was he's real amazing. It was really he just brought this nice festive 
buoyant feeling to the set every day. So it was very difficult. Uh. To, you're just, and then other times you just want to, in the middle of the scene, you're looking and you just want to stop everything and go, he's just a Sonny Murphy! <laughs> I'm sorry, I just ruined that take, right? That, okay, that, right. <laughs> <laughs> All six of you have had really interesting careers. You've been on Broadway, you've been on TV, you've been in so many films. The great thing about Dolomite Is My Name is that it takes you behind the scenes of this movie Dolomite, which became this surprise success for everybody involved. For each of you, what's something in your career that you didn't think was gonna work out and be a hit or a success that turned into one, much to your surprise? Mike. My career period. <laughs> Are you, <laughs> say it in here. <laughs> damn, damn, damn. Yeah, my career period. <laughs> But it's a blessing, man. You know, to be able to 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 work with great actors, great actresses, and it's you know, it's all God. How about you? Type? I piggyback on that. I, I I don't. I always think everything that I'm about to start is not going to be great. Um, so um, I kind of okay. side with him on that one. Craig, The Office. Really? Mm. Yeah. It didn't look good at first. <laughs> it, it, looked, it, it was bleak. <laughs> How did it turn the page? Uh, well, they, they renewed it. <laughs> but uh, I, I mean, I, I, I just, you know, for, for me, it was, it was like, OK, uh, I didn't come into like the fourth, fifth episode. So I didn't know a lot about it. I didn't, you know, I, nobody knew what it was going to turn into. But uh, when I first got there, I just was, you know, doing a guest star. All right. Divine. I'm still a baby, so I, I think my whole career, or it's not really the answer to your question, but I feel like this, me booking this, I feel like that the success of me actually booking it and being able to do it with all these amazing actors, that, that for me is the Good. highlight. Good. Keegan? A lovely thing to say. Um, uh, 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 the substitute teacher sketch from Key and Peele. Come on. I was working with Jordan, so I felt that, that, that there could be there could be some measure of success, perhaps because he's so amazing. Right. But that always felt like a kind of oh, this is a decent sketch. And then I had I don't know what it is about it that resonates with people, but it I that was a Aaron. A Aaron. I was not expecting it. that. <laughs> yeah. Wesley. New Jack City. Really. Really. I absolutely. It was not the. It, hello. Yes. New Jack City. It was not the godfather that I was told that we would be making. <laughs> <laughs> the black godfather, that's what it was supposed to be. Wow. And I've been disappointed ever since. <laughs> By its success. Movies. By its I, massive, I, yeah. iconic success. I'm, I'm still working on it. Thank you. He's in process. Wesley's in process. He's I'm trying. <laughs> So we have later, I'll get that. We have to shout out one of the crew members, which is Ruth Carter. Oh, Oscar yes. winner Ruth yes. Carter. Ruth, 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 Ruth. She was your costume Ruth, Ruth. designer. She ended up winning an Oscar for Black Panther. And she wanted you guys to look good. She wanted you guys not only to look appropriate for the period, but, but to look good. Did you feel like you looked good, Divine? I'm going to tell you something right now. So they said I had a fitting with a woman named Ruth. They didn't say her last name, which is very disrespectful. I'm sitting there. I'm waiting for my fitting. This beautiful woman walks around the corner. I fall to the ground and I start crying because I knew not only was I going to be taken care of as a woman, I was going to be taken care of as a curvy woman, and not only would like I be looking good, I was going to be looking fly. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it wasn't, and I knew it was going to be that extra something because I was nervous. I was like, I'm the only woman, so I got to represent a whole gender of woman in this period, and like the costumes was crazy, yeah, custom piece, like yeah. everything I had was made from scratch. Wow. I shared her concerns as a woman. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I too felt taken care of. You were taken care of, weren't you? <laughs> Head to toe. What was the most fun dolomite scene to recreate for the the movie within the movie? Making the when the ceiling when they were. F oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, we can believe it. We can believe it. Yeah. That's hilarious. And we were just like pulling all the things yeah. and making all that. And you guys shot in some of the same actual locations? Oh, yeah. yeah, when they, the, the scene where they, the, the cops, the corrupt cops plant stuff in his trunk, which is a very iconic scene from the movie where, you know, he punches a guy, he misses him by a mile, and the guy falls, <laughs> it jumps, the sheer force of his missed punch throws him into the trunk of a car. It was shot at the house, and I believe with the exact same model of car, 
on that street, that house, and it, it was they completely recreated it, and it happened to be the day that the DP from Dolomite came to visit set. No. So the DP from Dolomite was standing behind the actor playing him in the scene while they were shooting uh, the movie. That was crazy. <laughs> yeah, it was it was insane. Yeah. And then I have to ask you, Wesley, since you brought it up, Coming to America 2 is going to be directed by Craig Brewer, who directed this movie. Did you guys hatch that plan to work together on that movie while you were on the set of this movie, or did he not yet know that he was going to be doing it? Well, yes, we did. Uh. <laughs> We planned it all out, and it's just working like a chair. <laughs> Absolutely not. No, uh, but can you say that the fact that you had just worked with Craig on this probably helped you get cast in this one? I, I could say that. Okay. You might want to ask Craig's opinion. Okay. But, uh, yes, what are you it. most excited about to do in Coming to America 2? Oh, I have a way to bring some uh, different accents. You haven't heard a lot of it. Oh. I'm going to do something very good, yeah. <gasps> Yes, 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 yes. My name is General Easy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because I can make it very easy uh, <laughs> for you. <laughs> I have I know you like it. I've just bought my ticket. <laughs>